Welcome back everyone. It is Wednesday. You can tell by my voice that it's just about 100%. It's probably about 98%. But we are going to open up one of our packs of 1990 Max. And it's going to pair nicely with a 2017 Torque Box. But before we get into that, <coughs> if, excuse me, a few of you yesterday told me about this card. I did miss this. It is 90 out of 199. The Daniel Suarez Under the Lights card. I thought it looked a little bit different. Just the placement of the number was a little difficult for me to see. So anyway, moving forward, we're going to look at a pack of 1990 Max. You can kind of see where it's stuck together. Of course, 32 years that it's been uh, smacked right up next to its buddy there at the pack before it. So I'm sure just with humidity and everything else that it caused these packs to stick together a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me, you can still tell that it's mostly just sinuses now. Everything is on the way out for me, and everything is looking good. I'm going to start off with Larry Pearson as the first card. You see there's a little bit of chipping. 1990 Max is known for that chipping around the edges, just because it's a black border. You see Chattanooga Cheers, so this picture was from 1989 when he was running for Rookie of the Year in the Cup Series. And probably would have won Rookie of the Year if Dick Trickle had not joined Stavola Brothers after Race 2 when Mike Alexander was still recovering from injuries from the Snowball Derby. Would have really been tight race between Larry Pearson and Hutt Strickland had Trickle not been involved. Strickland had one top 5, four top 10s. Larry only had two top 10s of the best finish at 6 at Richmond in the spring of 89. I think his second and other top 10 was at Dover that year but I'm drawing a blank on it. He just had a very, very disappointing year. There's 89 Bush Series champion Rob, Moros Rob Moroso. Of course, Rob was tragically killed in a drunk driving accident. Of course, he was the one that was intoxicated, so that makes it all the more sad. Brett Bodine, former Cup Series winner at North Wilkesboro. I believe he works for the R&D Center with NASCAR. Looks like uh, Ken Schrader there off behind his left shoulder. Looks like they are at Wilkesboro. That does look like the Wilkesboro background there. Not sure who this is there to his right. Jim Sauter driving for Group 44 Racing in this picture, which was owned by Bob Tullius. Sauter passed away a few years ago. He was an IROC test driver for many years as well. Father of uh, current Truck Series driver Johnny Sauter. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize for the coughing. We will be out of the woods in a couple more days. Jimmy Finnig, longtime crew chief for Bobby Allison in the Cup Series, would later work for Bobby's team, and now he works for Roush Fenway Racing. Jim Phillips with MRN. Steve Meal, father of Shane Meal, who was in that horrible sprint car crash in Terre Haute a number of years ago. Junie Don Lovey, longtime car owner, won points paying win Dover in 1981 with Jody Ridley, and a qualifying race win. With Ken Schrader at Daytona in 87. There's Felix Sabatis, original owner of Sabco with Ted Condor. Ronald Cooper, longtime Bush Series driver, one win, 1988. I believe that was in uh, Georgia somewhere. Linear Raceway, I believe. Dale Inman, eight time championship crew chief, seven with Richard Petty and one with Terry Labonte in 1984. Richard Broom, who was crew chief for Kenny Schrader. Phil Barkdahl, who was an auctioneer. A lot of people don't know that, but he was a licensed auctioneer. His son, Steve Barkdahl, has been a spotter for many, many years in the Cup Series. There's Larry Mack with his famous clipboard, working with King Racing. Doug Reichert, longtime crew chief, championship crew chief in 1980 with Dale Earnhardt. And Robin Pemberton will round out the pack. And you see the backs of these cards have a little spot for autographs. But most people, like myself, like to have them signed across the front of the card. Generally in a Sharpie or a light marker. <coughs> now, we're here for the main event. That was just the preliminary matches. We do have a 2017 Panini Torque Blaster Box here. Of course, this was one of my purchases from Steel City. Are we going to get a cup driver, a Xfinity driver, a ARCA driver, a truck driver? What are we going to get as our 
autograph, or memorabilia card? Or are we going to get points? We will find out in just a minute. Kevin Harvick, Danica Patrick, former teammates on the front. There's some ideas of what you can get. The front of the box just is sideways on the back. Zoom in for all you new folks. This is what we do here on the channel. I like to do just a quick scroll up, let you guys see what the odds, or in this case, the print runs are. And it is a thick pack. So we know it's going to be a MIM card. Not going to complain about that. But it's a super thick pack. You hear me brag about it all the time that I like the way that uh, Panini does their torque packs. They're always nice and done. All the information on the pack you would have seen on the box. So we're not going to bore you with those details. But we are going to shuffle the cards around and move the relic to the back. Yep, there's the relic. And we're going to start off with a Kaz Grala. 30 out of 149. We were three off of the door number there. Clear Vision. Kaz Grala. Nice looking card. And we have uh, Brennan Poole with that horrible DC Solar sponsorship. Denny Hamlin. Three-time Daytona winner. AJ Allmendinger, defending champion at Indianapolis. That race is coming up in a couple weeks. Dale Earnhardt Jr., fan interaction. Nice Richard Petty. This one looks like it's probably from about 86, 87, thereabouts. Ryan Newman, family time. Not sure which one of his daughters that is. We're going to put that one on the back. And we have a Brad K. Artist Proof. 53 out of 75. We'll take that one all day long. And then we have the Kyle Larson Gold Parallel. A younger Kyle Larson. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we're going to have our little reveal here and see who our relic is going to be. Looks, is that going to be Suarez? It is going to be Suarez. It's numbered as well. 178 out of 499. It is a uniform piece off that very clean Eris uniform. So there's the car that he drove. Is that the Xfinity car, or is that the Cup Series car? I really can't tell. Looks like it might be Cup Series. But uh, Daniel Suarez, we will take that. Raced Relics, 178 out of 499. we got three numbered card here, guys, out of one pack. 53 out of 75, the Brad K. Artist Proof. And the Kaz Grala, 30 out of 149. Just three off of the door number there as well as the gold parallel Kyle Larson. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Always enjoy interacting with each and every one of you. So enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.